Hi there, I'm Michael Posnick from Century 21 Northumberland Real Estate here in Prince Edward Island, Canada. At this point, you're probably thinking I'm going to pitch some real estate property that's the absolute best piece of property in the whole world and there's nothing that compares to it. It doesn't matter which corner of the earth you visit or how many countries you've been to and how many planets you've visited. And no, that's not the case. What I am going to do is I am going to introduce you to a property that, uh, you know, in my 13 plus years of experience doing nothing but exclusively waterfront real estate here in Prince Edward Island, think is a pretty good value. And um, so much so that when the project was being developed, that I actually invested in the project and I bought four lots and actually built a home there. So the property we're talking about is, uh, is called Sunbury Cove Estates. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a series of videos going over uh, the reasons why you should at least take a few minutes to check out Sunbury Cove Estates if you're here on the island looking for real estate. Now we do have a website set up that will give you an absolute ton of information and you can find that at sunburycove.com. Make sure when you go there that you do join the, uh, the mailing list and you'll get uh, updates periodically. So basically, um, you know, what I'm going to do in this first part of this multi-part series is discuss underground services and why they're so important and what they are uh, when it comes to buying a waterfront or water view property. And basically what underground services are is, is your electrical and your telephone wires are hidden underground. So there's no telephone posts or utility poles throughout the subdivision and there's no telephone uh, high tension and electrical wires. Um, going through the subdivision and then typically what would happen is every house would run a wire from the house to the telephone post. Now that doesn't sound very important at first but I can tell you what it does do is it gives you much much better resale value here in PEI because there's a huge demand for it and there's a huge shortage of supply um, basically because it costs a ton of cash, a ton of money to put underground services in a subdivision. And I'm talking, you know, a small subdivision of 20, 20 lots or so could be three or four hundred thousand dollars to put underground services in, opposed to a subdivision um, that doesn't have underground services. A lot of times the, the developer won't even put services in, period. He'll sell you the lot and then you're responsible for putting electricity and telephone in. And the, uh, the electrical and the telephone companies have caught on to this and they're no longer doing all this for free. Or in uh, Maritime Electric's case, they used to do it for $300 a post and then they smartened up. Uh, so basically, it, it's, it's a huge asset when selling the property. Uh, you'll notice the prices in Sunbury Cove have not gone down since day one. Where other subdivisions, they've been cutting and slashing prices and offering low financing, blah, 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 just to get you into their, um, their subdivision. Uh, Sunbury Cove is 100% underground, which means that when you enter the subdivision, uh, the only telephone posts you're going to see are the ones leading to the subdivision. Throughout the subdivision, there are no uh, telephone poles. Uh, some others have tried to cut corners, and what they've done is they've put a part of the subdivision uh, underground, uh, you know, very small part, the one I'm thinking of I was visiting on the weekend, uh, you know, 75% above ground and then about 25% below ground. Uh, in Sunbury Cove, they're all below ground. So all the waterfront lots, all the water view lots, of which the best ones are, are still available, um, all have underground services, so you're not going to see telephone posts everywhere. Um, so you're going to get a lot of uh, a lot much better views. Uh, it looks better overall. Um, you do have the protection factor. You know we do have a lot of really high winds and bad storms in PEI sometimes in the winter. And I wish I had a made a YouTube video on some of these, but I mean I, you see storms here where the storms are taking down telephone poles like toothpicks. 
and the electric company will put them back up and two days later they'll be ripped down again. Uh, in one situation here, the same telephone posts, there's about a dozen of them were ripped down three times uh, inside of a month. So, you know, that's, that's basically one of the biggest advantages to Sunbury Cove. You know, there's a lot of other things. You have to go out there. The people are wonderful. The, the houses, you know, I don't think you're going to find many locations in PEI where the houses are of such high quality. Uh, and they're all consistently high quality. Sometimes you'll see two or three or four really, really nice homes go in. And then you'll see a couple that really do not fit in that landscape. And they're actually taking away value from the others, which is kind of sad. And I also saw that on the weekend as well with this same subdivision. They had, you know, four or five really beautiful homes, 25% uh, underground services, but then there's two houses that look like they just were, you know, pulled out of Summerside or Charlottetown from a typical residential neighborhood. There's a tip, there's a special way to build a house when you're on the water. And people want a, a certain touch of class. Um, if they're going to be putting that kind of money into a house, and they want to make sure their neighbors are all, you know, of the same sort of design. Uh, in Sunbury Cove, it's all really nice, really consistent. And one of the reasons that is is because the developer uh, actually lives on location, and he's built a house there, and he's built all the other homes in there. Now that doesn't mean you have to hire him; you can hire anybody you want. But the homes he's put in there are truly, truly uh, magnificent by PEI standards. So that's about it. I mean, you know, underground services are a huge asset, many different ways. They're very expensive to put in, basically because you're digging a ditch six feet wide and six or eight feet deep, and you're replacing the dirt that was in the ditch with PVC tubing and, and sand that has to be absolutely perfect and free of any... Uh, uh, impurities and then you run a two by six along everything. I don't want to get into all the details of underground services but it's a very expensive thing to do and it's something that Sunbury Cove and very very few other locations uh, actually have installed in their um, in their community. So check it out sunburycove.com. I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland Real Estate here in Prince Edward Island and uh, we'll look for you in the next video. Bye for now.